Hi everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So only take it if it resonates. If it's for you, then the majority of it should resonate like 95, 99%. Like you'll know if it's for you intuitively. Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Someone sees you, someone wants to study you is what I'm hearing. Someone sees you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as someone who's very independent, very stable, very grounded, um, very strong. It's like they feel like there's something to you. Like you don't, it's like maybe you're kind of mysterious. You're not very easy to read and this person wants to know more about you. They get a sense that you're maybe guarded or maybe you, like there's more depth to you than, than meets the eye. There's more to you than meets the eye. You could even have more than one person vying for your attention right now. Let me see. Let me look into this. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. It's like this King of Cups wants to study you. This King of Cups wants to study this Queen of Pentacles. It's like this person, this could be like a coworker or this is someone new in your life that is just very curious about you. I just feel like they can't read you. Like they're really interested in you. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like someone from your past. It doesn't feel like someone who knows you well. This feels like an outsider, like a secret admirer type, like a coworker or a manager or, um, you know, someone that you see when you go to the store or, or the gym or the park or wherever. It's like someone that kind of like they observe you. They they notice you. You guys might even make small talk. But there's something about you that just makes them feel like there's so much more to you than what they're seeing on the surface. It's, it's like there's something it could be something about you that's very creative, like maybe the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. Um I'm hearing like artwork, like maybe you sell artwork or something like that. It's like there's there's something that you said or done or something on you like physically, like about your physical appearance, appearance that just makes this person think like I need to know her, like I need to know who she is. I need there there's something here. There's something deeper here. She's really interesting. I feel like she's just guarded, but I think there's there's a lot more to her. They're just very curious about you, very fascinated by you. Yeah, it feels like a new energy, a secret admirer type. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. They want to take their time with you. They want to. This person's loyal and stable and grounded. They want to really take their time reading you I think I think that I think that what drives this person crazy too is I, I feel like they I think this person is very intelligent I think that they know how to read people like I think that most people are like an open book to them I'm seeing that scene. I know it's I know it's stupid but I'm seeing that scene from Twilight if you guys have been, for those of you that have been with me for a while, like, you know, that sometimes I get like songs or I get movie or TV show clips and that's, you know, it's channeled messages, it's synchronicities, it's how my spirit guides talk to me and, and how they talk to a lot of people really um, through, through movies, mu uh, music, TV. And I'm seeing this scene from Twilight where, <laughs> where they're in the cafe and Edward's like telling Bella, 
like, you know, everyone's so predictable. Like I can read everybody's thoughts. Like this person's thinking about sex. This person's thinking about money, sex, money, sex, money with you. It's just blank. Like I can't, I can't read your thoughts. Like you need to tell me what you're thinking. And I get a similar energy with this King of Cups towards this Queen of Pentacles. He's like, almost not quite frustrated by her, but almost he's like, I don't like, it's like driving him crazy. He's like, this is like the one person I, I can't figure out who she is deep down. I can't, you're, you're so good at keeping your cards to yourself at keeping your hand to yourself at key at, um, only showing people what you want them to see. You have a lot of self control, you know, self discipline, and it's driving this King of Cups crazy because he's like, I know there's more to her, but I cannot read her for the life of me. Like, I know that she has more depth to her. I know she's more intelligent than she lets on. I know she's more emotional than she shows people. But like, I can't like he I, he doesn't feel like there's like I don't I don't think that he gets the sense that there's like any red flags or anything toxic about you. It's not like that. It's just. It's, it's just he, he doesn't know if it's just in his head. He's like, I think that she's, you know, different than most people. I think that she's, you know, smarter than most people. I think she's just really interesting. But it's like, I don't, it's, it's like he's just getting tiny bits and pieces of it. And it's driving him crazy. He's like, I want to know what's there. I want to know what she's all about. Because um, with, he like I said, he's very intelligent. So I feel like he, most people are just an open book to him especially being the king of cups i feel like he might be very um very in touch with his emotions very charming very not like he's very charming and very seductive but not in a toxic way i just think it's it's almost like he's just intelligent enough to to understand people to connect with people maybe he's even in a line of work where he has to play different roles, you know, different personas, depending on who he's talking to. Um, it's like maybe someone who's read like The Art of Seduction, The Art of War, like those kind of books, possibly, you know, it's like some or someone who just knows about that, even if they haven't read those books. It's like he he he's not toxic, but it's it's like most people are just so simple to him. It's, it's like it, he doesn't even have to. He can just read people like someone walks in and and he'll look at their shoes or he'll he'll look at their um their mannerisms their their body language the way you know their age like he takes all these factors into account he's very very observant very wise and he'll study them a little bit and he'll he'll you know it doesn't take him more than a few minutes to to pretty much have someone narrowed down for the most part i mean not everything of course but it's like he'll know what type of um He'll know what they're looking for. He'll know what they want. You know, that's why I feel like maybe he's in like a service, like a, pro a profession where that comes into play. Um, But yeah, that's why it drives him so crazy because with this Queen of Pentacles, he's like, why the hell is this like the one person where she's so hard to figure out? Like I, it could even be like, maybe you, you dress a way that presents you as unique and interesting, but it's not... I don't know if it's, I don't want to say it's not typical, but it, it's like, it makes you like, you're like a walking paradox or something, you know, like he thinks that he has you figured out and then you throw something at him and he's like, oh my God, I didn't expect that. So he's driving himself crazy right now, trying to understand you. He wants to take his time. Yeah. Patience, perseverance. He, it's like his mission right now to, to, to figure you out. Tell me more about this. I feel like some of you, for some, this Queen of Pentacles maybe even creates an energy of like illusion, not in a toxic way, but just in a sense that she's been hurt by so many people that she doesn't want to be easy to figure out. She doesn't want to wear her heart on her sleeve anymore. She wants to kind of confuse people a little bit and she's very successful at doing so. She feels like that's her justice. She feels like she wants to make sure like you don't get to know me unless you prove you deserve to know me. Yeah. Yeah, she's very self-aware. So this isn't I don't I don't think this Queen of Pentacles is just like accidentally um 
you know, reserved or, or guarded. I, I think that she's, I think she's kind of his match in the sense that they both know a lot about psychology. They both know, they both very carefully choose, you know, what they wear, what they say, like who they are, what they present to the world, not in a way of being fake, but just, um, like it's, it's not in a fake way. Like I do feel like she's genuine. She just, because she's not pretending like she doesn't have a big heart. She's just, you know, she's kind of hinting to having a big heart, but she's like, you don't get to see it unless you, you know, unless you deserve to see it, unless I trust you enough to see it, to let you see it, to let you know me. Yeah, she's not going to settle for anyone who's not committed to her, who's not sure of her. Tell me more about... um this connection between this king of cups and queen of pentacles tell me what else we need to know about this at the moment I feel like there's a lot of love between them. I feel like it's very, I almost get like a mirroring type of energy where it's like she, I, th I think she honestly does have the upper hand on this man. And this could be someone you're going to meet. This could be like a new person that you haven't even met yet for some of you, but maybe you feel this person around and you know you're going to meet them. But I get the sense that with this queen of cups, it's like there's this mirrored energy in the sense that you know, she's really curious about him too. She feels the same way, but I feel like she has the upper hand where she's able to read him more than he's able to read her. Like she can tell this is a good man. She can tell this man is honest, reliable, you know, loyal, committed, stable. Um, maybe she's even intuitively like channeling him. Like she can just feel his energy. She's, she's more... I mean, he's in touch with his emotions, but I just feel like she's able to look into him more. Like she's able to, she has, she has the upper hand in some way. It could be tarot or it could be something of that sort where it's like she knows how to, she knows how to just look into him. Whereas with him, it's like he might not have the same tools as she does. And so he's kind of just going a little bit, you know, not, I don't want to say he's going crazy. It's not that, it's not that dramatic, but, <laughs> you know, frustrated a little bit. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords here? One or both of them was having anxiety. But it's like there's no reason for anxiety. There's Ten of Cups, you know, true love, abundance, family, home, peace, stability. I almost feel like he's... For some, it could just be that they both got tired of waiting for a connection like this to come in and they were kind of in the dark and frustrated and it's like at the last minute it comes in. For others, I feel like this could actually be him that's getting frustrated because he's like, I don't understand her. I don't know if she's even interested in getting to know me. I don't know what she's like. Like, what if I'm just fooling myself? What if this is just an illusion? What if I'm just in my head? You know, kind of almost giving himself anxiety. Um, but I feel like at the last moment, it's like he's going to, someone's going to choose not to let it go despite the anxiety. Take that as it resonates. There's going to be some kind of recognition of this being a Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Why Five of Cups? Hmm. It's almost like she's arrived in his life, but he's gone through so much loss that it's like it's hard for him to see her. Or it's not hard for him to see her. It's hard for him to. It, it's like, OK, so he doesn't. How do I explain this energy I'm feeling? I don't think that he feels like she's toxic, like I was saying before, because I'm, I'm being drawn back to that. I don't think that he feels like she's toxic necessarily, but I think that it worries him that he can't read her. 
there's that small part of him that's like, you know, what if I'm fooling myself? What if this is an illusion? What if I'm just lonely and I'm just projecting? Because I think that he's intuitively really feeling drawn to her, but maybe he's not used to using his intu intuition in that sense. Or maybe he's not, it's, it's like he's having a hard time sorting between his intuition and reality. You know what I mean? Because she's so mysterious, there's this logical part of him that's thinking, well, you know, what if I just like her because, you know, she is mysterious and I'm just lonely and I'm just projecting this onto her, like... Like, like, what is it? Like, he, like, it's driving him crazy. It's like, what is it about her? What, what, what is it? Why am I so drawn? Why do I keep thinking about it so much? It's like, she's here, but he doesn't know, you know, he's like, well, what do I do next? <laughs> okay, let's wrap this message up. What are the final messages here? I think he is going to let his guard down a little bit. I think it's safe for her to show him a little bit more. Like she doesn't have to. Um, she could even be holding back because she doesn't want to come on too strong or scare him off. But I think that there has to be a balance between being too reserved and, and moving too quickly. I mean, I do feel like he is stable and loyal and I think he would want to move you know, at like at a, at a not like a slow pace, but like a, a fair, you know, a stable pace. Um, so she doesn't need to pour it all out just, just like that. But I mean, it's safe for her to at least show him a little bit more about her, you know, just, just show, show him a little, just, just a little bit more. Tell me more about how this King of Cups feels about her. He's had dreams or epiphanies. He feels like this is, this is like a new start, truth, clarity, passionate new start the empress he sees her as all four queens combined like the entire package i feel like there's something with like dreams or meditation where yeah i think i think that he picked up on this somehow why death let me see I think he's trying to figure out how to get her to go through a transformation because I think that he's going to start picking up on at, at first because I don't know for some of you like have you guys met this person for some I feel like you've already met them it's new for others it's coming in this year but I, I feel like at some point he's going to he's going to take his time and it's kind of I mean don't get me wrong it's kind of good to it's good that he's so curious about you. It's good that he's pursuing you and chasing you. It's good that he's so determined to know you. So I'm not saying just to completely stop doing that. I mean, I think it is kind of a good thing, but in, in balance, you know what I mean? Um, like, I think it's kind of like almost like a sexy energy in a way, I guess, where it's, it's like he's He's frustrated, but it's like he just feels like he just wants to dig deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's good. You deserve that. You need someone who offers you that. You need someone who takes the time and makes the effort to really get to know you. Um, but I see you finding that balance, you know, um, and opening up a little bit, not not, you know, too much right away, but just maybe, you know, after making small talk for a while, it's like you kind of share a little bit more. You you open up. There's there's like a continuous flow. You let it flow naturally. Um, I feel like at some point he's going to have a realization. So what I kind of feel is like with studying you, I almost feel like he's going to learn. He's going to observe you. He's going to learn like your your mannerisms. He's going to read your body language. And so I think at some point there's going to be something that you say or do or maybe just a, something about your, your energy or body language that's going to show him that maybe you've been through some pretty bad relationships. And I think that's when he's going to try to really figure out how to gain your trust. He might come to the realization that you're, you know, hurt over someone else, that you're heartbroken over someone else, or just that you've been through a lot when it comes to love. Um, 
And I feel like he's going to really want to, when he has that realization, when he finally has that epiphany, he's like, okay, that's why she's guarded. She's, you know, maybe distrusting. That's why she's not, she's not bitchy or, or closed off or uninterested. It's, it's just that, you know, she's not sure about people. She wants to make sure they pursue her. She wants to make sure you know, they take their time and there's, you know, mutual trust, mutual, you know, something solid developed on both ends, which is a really good thing, I think. But anyway, I think once he realizes that it's like, he's going to want to know how to get her to go from being the queen of pentacles to being the queen of cups, you know, death transformation and the fool too. It's, it's like, how do, how do I, it's like, okay, I finally figured out at least that this is the reason she's so distant. This is what's, you know, at least part of what's going on in her head. How do I get her to trust me? How do I get her to open up a little bit and be in more of a queen of cups energy? It could also be because you were represented by, I mean, you've been represented by pretty much everything but the queen of swords. <laughs> um, queen of wands, the empress, the queen of cups. We had the queen of pentacles at the beginning of the reading. And I almost feel that's why I feel like for some it could be a work situation where it's like maybe your your mind is prior is focused on the job or career or maybe when you guys meet when you guys are around each other maybe you have like a certain goal in mind like let's say it's like at the gym or let's say it's at um like a like charity event or like a community drive it's like you have a certain goal in mind or you have you're focused on um, on money or on work on, on, uh, could even be something, someone like a college or something where it's like, you're focused on your studies. It's like, you're focused on something or you're in an environment that doesn't have a lot to do with love. And I think that's also why this person, this King of Cups has such a hard time because it's like, well, we're not in an environment where it's appropriate to be romantic or emotional or any of those things. So he's like, how do I get her out of that energy and into the queen of cups energy when we're surrounded by you know when that's the environment that we interact the most in um anyway it looks really good though i mean it looks like you have a good man here i would say you know keep doing what you're doing for the most part but again finding more of that balance um and i'd love to to hear how it's going for you guys so thank you for supporting the channel commenting sharing subscribing liking the videos um yeah thanks for watching